welcome to episode 2 of Banda Inku's Arcade Quest painting series. Today we'll be painting Diva the Unstoppable Force. We're gonna start off with Vallejo's Black Primer. I really like how you can just dump this primer right into the pot and it's ready to go. Because we're going to be painting some bright colors on this model, we're going to do an undercoat of dead white. Since we're doing this over the black primer, it's going to take a couple coats. For the armor, we're going to grab some red ink and some metal medium. If I were to do this again, I would do a base layer of red ink before I did this step, for two reasons. One, painting metals over white is usually a pain. And two, having that darker layer underneath the metal would add to the reflective ability of it so we'd still get that nice red underneath, but also get a nice shine. To help brighten up that red, we're gonna wash down the armor with some red ink. If I would've done like I mentioned previously, this step probably wouldn't be necessary. Now that we've got that red nice and bright, we're going to create a bit of contrast by shading the armor using a 3-2 mix of Reichlin Flesh Shade and Karaberg Crimson. Now that the shade is dried, we're going to go back with our 4-1 mix of red ink and metal medium and re-establish some of our mid-tones. Next we're going to add a drop of metal medium as well as some glaze medium and start doing some highlighting. For some of the areas like the chest piece, we'll add an extra drop of metal medium and do another layer. Then we'll grab just our metal medium and do some edge highlighting. Now that we've done our highlighting, it's time for a little more contrast. For this we're going to grab our Agrex Earthshade and we're going to darken the sash slash belt thing that's holding her front cloak piece. I'm sure that's probably not what it's called, but that's just what I'm going to call it. Next we're going to grab our Reichland Flesh Shade and we're going to shade over some of the sword, arm, and legs to create a little bit more depth in the armor. Once the shade is dried, the armor is complete and it's time to move on to the hair. Which means it's time to bust out the yellow ink. While we wait for the hair to dry, we're gonna grab our dead white and do a little cleanup on their face, cape, front cloak piece and undercoat the gems of the sword.
Unlike with green sleeves where we dry brushed a layer of lemon yellow and then we dry brushed a layer of white and then we did some extra highlighting, with Diva I wanted to experiment and just use the dead white and see how she turned out comparatively. I decided to try highlighting her hair this way because Diva's hair has a lot of character to it and a lot of edges I felt would really benefit from highlighting them using a detail brush rather than a dry brush. Next up, we're going to grab our Seraphim Sepia and our Glaze Medium and wash down the cape and front cloak piece. Once the wash is dry enough to stay in place, We'll grab our yellow ink and base coat the gems on the sword and on her knees. Now that we've given the wash some time to dry, we're going to grab our small detail brush and pick out some of the details that we really want to stand out. We're going to want to give this time to fully dry before we move on to the next step, because our next step is to start adding some highlights by dry brushing on some bone white. For the next highlight, we're going to add in some dead white and continue on dry brushing. This time, however, we're going to be a little more specific with where we put the paint. Now that we've done some basic highlighting, we're going to grab our detail brush and start picking out those details. We'll polish off the highlighting with a little bit of dead white. Next up, we're grabbing our basic skin tone and base coating her face. Once that base coat has completely dried, we're going to mix up some Seraphim Sepia, Rikun Flesh Shade, and Glaze Medium and wash down her face. The tricky part here is trying not to make her look like a bearded lady with a 5 o'clock shadow. Just believe me on that one. The first time I tried, that's exactly what she looked like. Thankfully, this mix is pretty easy to clean up, so I was able to repair the damage. Here you're actually seeing the second attempt, which was a better one. For the irises, we're throwing down a layer of Deep Sky Blue. Next up, the pupils call for some model color blue. For the final touches to the eyes, we're going to add a little highlight to the top left of each eye using some dead white. It always amazes me just how much this little detail makes the eyes look so much better. Looking at her here though, we need to fix her naked mole rat look by giving her some eyelashes. For this, I like to use micron pens because they're a lot easier to control than little paintbrushes. They're also really easy to clean up if you mess up like I did here. I especially like this super fine micron pen because it makes it really easy to draw on small details. 
But really guys, in all seriousness, look how much better she looks with eyelashes. Next up, we're grabbing our lamp black and adding some depth to the gems. To do this, we're going to apply the black just to the top third of the gem and then slightly blend it in towards the middle. Once we get our blending to our liking, we're going to add a small white dot on the top to simulate light hitting the gem. If the dot ends up being a little too big, just take your black paint and go back around it to slim it down. The last thing that's left is the sword. We're going to undercoat it first in black, and while we're at it, we'll paint the base as well. Next we'll grab our silver and start base coating the blade. It'll take a couple coats to really get it looking good. For the final step, we're going to grab our Nuln Oil and shade the back of the blade. And with that, D.Va the Unstoppable Force is now complete. Thank you guys for joining, I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button down below, and if you want, go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. D.Va complete! Bandaroo out!